This presentation will walk you through the procedure for modifying a cycle program on the Dexter 6-Cycle OPL washer. Dexter Laundry recommends that all service and troubleshooting be done by a qualified service person. Live voltage is present inside of every Dexter machine. Extreme caution should be used if you decide to troubleshoot your equipment. Dexter Laundry always recommends that you disconnect power to your washer or dryer before attempting any service. Warning. Failure to follow these instructions can result in death, fire, or electrical shock. The Dexter OPL program key, number N561, will be needed for this procedure. To enter the program mode with the washer at idle mode, insert and turn the program key to the program position. Push the up arrow button through the six available cycles until the desired cycle is blinking on the display. Press Start to enter the cycle. The Add Bleach light will continue to blink during the programming mode. The second step is the bath selection. B for bath will be displayed and the flush light will be illuminated. To change the bath being programmed, press the Up button. The cycle light on the display will indicate the bath selections. There are eight total baths available, flush, pre-wash, wash, rinse one, rinse two, rinse three, rinse four, and final rinse. When the desired bath is selected, press start to enter the settings. Each bath allows for the programming of the cycle time the water temperature, the fill level, a choice between time fill or delay fill, a spin time, and an injection source. For cycle time, CT will be displayed. This is the amount of time for the bath. The cycle time can be programmed from 0 to 15 minutes for each bath. The final rinse bath can be programmed 1 to 15 minutes. To change the cycle time, Press the Up button to increase time, or press the Down button to decrease time. To bypass an entire bath, program the cycle time to zero. Once the desired cycle time is programmed, press the Start button to advance to the next step. The next step is for water temperature. When selecting the water temperature, the display will show a T and give four options. Press the Up button to change the water temperature selections. HH is hot water. CH is warm water. CC is cold water. And EE is no water. When the desired water temperature is selected, press the Start button to advance to the next step. When selecting the water level, the display will show an L and give two options for water level low for a low water level, or high for high water level. Select the water level by pressing the up and down buttons. When the desired water level is selected, press the start button to advance to the next step. There are two options for the fill step. Option D indicates delayed fill. This will delay the bath time until water level is reached before advancing to the remaining cycle. T indicates timed fill. This option does not stop the time countdown while filling. The default programming for this step is D, for delayed fill. When the desired type of fill is selected, press the Start button to advance to the next step. The spin time allows the user to program the length of the spin at the end of each bath. The program will allow the spin to be set at zero for no spin, or up to 10 minutes of spin for each bath. The final rinse bath requires a spin time of 1 to 10 minutes, which is the final extract time. When the desired spin time is selected, press the Start button to advance to the next step. For the injection source, there is a single digit code indicating the injector signals. The terminal block connections for the 6 second 120 volt injection signals can be found on the back of the washer. The codes will be labeled 0 through 6. 0 is for no injection signal. 1 is for detergent or A on the terminal block. 
2 is for bleach or B on the terminal block. 3 is for starch or C on the terminal block. 4 is sour softener or D on the terminal block. 5 is both A and B terminals together. And 6 is both C and D terminals together. When the no water bath is selected in step 4, the electronic controller prohibits injection signals. When rapid advancing the machine, these signals will also be disabled. To exit the programming of an individual bath, press the stop button once and use the up and down buttons to select another bath. Press the stop button a second time to select a different cycle to change. To exit the programming completely, turn the program key to the run position. To operate the machine in the rapid advance mode, the program key is turned counterclockwise from the run position. This is not labeled on the control. To advance past a particular bath, press the start button. All injection sources are omitted if the machine is turned to rapid advance at any point during the cycle. To return to normal operation, turn the program key back to the run position. The washer is now ready for use.